Learn with Eddie. <laughs> but Eddie, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you'd better be careful. You've got on the bus's way without realizing. You are supposed to run on the sidewalk. Uh -huh. Say no more. I think you should have a class on traffic laws today, taught by the strong right hand of the law. <laughs> All right, it was probably a pretty bad joke, but I'm sure we'll have lots of fun. <laughs> the ones in charge of directing traffic, if traffic lights stop working, or if there is any other emergency, are called traffic officers. Mm. It's a job that requires great attention. They have to pay attention to all cars. <laughs> and it also implies a lot of responsibility. They make sure there are no traffic jams. Ew, not that kind of jam. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most important thing of all, a reflective piece of clothing. Do you know which one it is? <laughs> it allows cars, trucks, and other vehicles to see you during both daylight and nighttime. <laughs> These gloves will make you look elegant. <laughs> and with this hat and this plaque, everyone will know they need to listen to you out on the road. Ha! I almost forgot something. Uh -huh. The whistle to make others listen to you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Stop! Uh -huh. You can't just use it all the time. Uh -huh. It's time to go for the traffic exam. Let's go out. Uh -huh. All right, we'll start walking from this traffic sign. Uh -huh. But before we start, do you know what it means? That's it. There is a bus stop here. Let's continue. Hey, hold on. Be careful, Eddie. Didn't you see the stop sign? It literally means you need to stop. All right, this is a zebra crossing. But even if this is for pedestrians to cross the road and cars should give them way, you still need to always look both ways before crossing. When we are out in the streets, we not only need to pay attention to the sign that gives us way, or not, as pedestrians, we also need to understand what each and every one of them means. <laughs> Don't worry, it's easy. In order to cross this dino crossing, first, you need to stop and look. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The stop sign is your first clue. Uh -huh. It indicates that cars should stop, and therefore, we need to make sure they do stop, because they still may not. The traffic light for the car is green, and this one for pedestrians is red. Do you know what these colors mean? Mm. Uh -huh. We use traffic lights to know whose turn it is to go, cars or pedestrians. When the light is green on the top, it's the car's turn. <laughs> When the light is yellow, uh -huh. that means they need to slow down and be careful. And when it's red, it means cars must stop. Mm. So even if you see a dino crossing, you still need to check the traffic light. <laughs> if the dino light is red, you can't cross. <laughs> but you can when it's green. Well done, you can cross now. Hey, do not run. Uh -huh. You'd better take things easy. Uh -huh. You could have a real scare someday if not. Oh. And we don't want that to happen. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Thank you, traffic officer Eddie. You saved my life. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Is that the racing car you made out of recycled materials? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you customized it. <laughs> You're a true mechanic. Oh, you'd rather be racing driver. Well, then you'll have to start practicing. Uh -huh. But you need to get dressed first. A pilot's clothes are very important for their safety. Driving that fast is a dangerous profession. <laughs> what about you guys? What do you think of Eddie's car? Would you like to learn how to build other toys? <laughs> You can ask for your favorite ones in the comments. <laughs> Come on, Eddie, let's go to the pits. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't you know what the pits are? Uh -huh. They are an area next to the tracks where pilots wait for the race to begin. <laughs> wow, Eddie, check out all of the stuff in our pit. Which outfit do you think suits a racing pilot better? <laughs> <laughs> That's your wetsuit, Eddie. I don't think it'll be very comfy for driving a racing car. 
though you weren't totally wrong, because you do need a suit that covers your whole body. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, Eddie, that's the racing suit. <laughs> it fits like a glove, and it protects your whole body. Mm. Well, almost all of it, you're missing a few things. Pick a pair of gloves. Don't make that face, you guessed it right on the first try. Those are the racing gloves. It wasn't an obvious choice. The keeper gloves are similar, but they're way bulkier. You'll be able to drive better with this on. And what about your feet, Eddie? What kind of footwear should you put on? <laughs> You're so funny. How are you going to drive in flippers? <laughs> That's right! Those are the racing boots! <laughs> Perfect! They match the rest of your suit! Now there's only one thing left unprotected! Uh -huh. What could it be? Well done, Eddie! The head is indeed the most important part! First, we put this earpiece in your ear! Do you know what it's for? Hmm. <laughs> it's not for listening to music. Uh -huh. It's connected to a transmitter so that you can hear my voice when you're wearing the helmet. Uh -huh. You'll see. Uh -huh. And this hood of sorts is called a balaclava. And, just like the rest of your suit, it's for protection. Uh -huh. But the most important part of all is the helmet. Never drive a racing car or motorbike without wearing one, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, right! You can't hear me. Can you hear me, Eddie? <laughs> I was saying never to forget wearing your helmet. <laughs> Great! Now you're ready to burn rubber. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Oi, slow down a bit, Eddie. Don't push the engine. That's it! As soon as you master this one, we'll move on to a bigger one! <laughs> wow, Eddie! You are a rally driver! Uh, oops! It looks like something happened to your car! Don't worry, I have an idea! We can dress you as a mechanic and fix it! Alright, let's go! I'll push the car back home! And we can check what we've got in the closet. Do you like the idea of dressing up as a mechanic? <laughs> I see you really like it. <laughs> there are some clothes we can use for the top, Eddie. <laughs> nice try. But this is your driver's t-shirt. Good job. You got it right this time. <laughs> Great, Eddie. Next one. <laughs> All right, let's pick a suit. <laughs> hmm, let's see what you think about it once you put it on. Hmm. This is your Roman suit, not the mechanic suit. <laughs> have a better look. Mechanic suits usually have at least one pocket. <laughs> That's it. These overalls are perfect. <laughs> and you can get them as dirty as you wish. <laughs> look. Here are the shoes. Let's see how you feel wearing these flippers. It doesn't look very comfy to me. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. Mechanic shoes need to be hard so they can protect your feet. Just in case you drop a tool on them. Good job. These do look perfect. <laughs> Comfier than the flippers? Great. Here are some items for your head. <laughs> well, let's see what it looks like on you. How do you feel? Do you think it's an item for mechanics? <laughs> but, Eddie, that's not... <laughs> you are tricking me. <laughs> I thought it was weird you wanting to wear a Viking hat. <laughs> All right, we are done with the outfit, but we are missing the most important thing. Without tools, you won't be able to fix your sports car. And that's why I have this cool mechanic tool belt. <laughs> now we have all we need. Should we go to the workshop? <laughs> Is it working, Eddie? <laughs>
Hmm. Hmm. Have you put new batteries in it? Uh huh. <laughs> Let's see if it starts with these ones. Oh. <laughs> yes! We can go back to racing. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Ah, and you can also talk with Eddie. Send him an email at learnwitheddie at asubio.tv. <laughs> he will love it. <laughs>